what's going on guys it's your boy enzo 60 back at it again with another video today is a very very special day for the trident 660 we are getting some carbon parts from model composites well we didn't get it we bought it so this is not in any way shape or form a sponsored video i just got out of work and about an hour ago I saw the USPS guy deliver my package and shortly after that my son brought it in when he came back from school. So knowing me, right now I'm just filled with adrenaline. I can't wait to go home and actually install these things to my bike. Also, I want to uh, shout you guys out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you and I can learn together through the ex this experience. So I'm excited for that. I'll see you then. All right, guys. So the package did come in. Uh, if you open the box, we got our carbon fiber parts. We got a little sticker. Oh, we get two sets of stickers. So we get the big one and the small one. Let's go. Shout out to Moto Composites. Not a sponsored video, but it looks like they got great products. So when I got home, I just had to check it out, right? I wanted to see the product right away and what the quality looks like. And I'm gonna show you guys something. This is the uh, radiator guard for the left side. So let's go install it. All right, before I install it, I'm gonna make sure I wear some gloves. I get fingerprints, oil, grease, or anything on the carbon fiber. Just wearing some regular uh, seven mil latex gloves, let's go. All right, we're gonna start off with the left side of the radiator. It uses a T25 Torx screw. Washer or spacer. Don't lose that. What I'm noticing right now is that on the left side, this there's a little hanger here for this wire, and we don't have that on the carbon fiber one, as you can see. Put the little spacer back in, just like that. All right, that's what it looks like on the first side. Let's go, carbon fiber, baby. I haven't tightened this up yet. Um, I was really, really careful on putting the screws back on because I didn't want to scratch any surface. So just be mindful of that. All right, on to the other side got lazy so I'm getting help from the big guy all right that's that side on the right side Man, that was an easy job for a fantastic return. Look at that. Jeez. It took me less than, what, two minutes to do that? On to the next one. Do the uh, sprocket cover next. I was debating which one I want to do first. So we'll just do this one since I already have the impact out. There's three screws. One, uh, two, and three but you have to remove your shifter, in my case, the quick shifter. All you need to remove is this bolt right here, which is a six mil Allen key or Allen wrench, Allen key. 
be warned guys this is a little high highly torque so now we have to remove this one too Now this one's a five mil Allen key. Now to take this one off, you just pull on this side and there's a little pin here that goes in a tab. So you just be careful. Well, not like that, but yeah, that's how you remove it. Now, if you guys notice this sprocket cover is very clean. I just cleaned it last week. So, so for the sprocket cover, Actually, Moto Composites emailed me saying that they ran out of or they didn't have um, stock of the glossy carbon fiber. So I had to order in replacement this matte carbon fiber in twill. So it's the same thing, but it's just not glossy. My plan was to have it um, sprayed by a professional, have them put gloss on it or even like just wrapping it with clear wrap. But I mean, it's underneath and I think it will still look cool. So let's just put it on the way it is. And if I decide later, I could just easily take it off again. All right, the next part is going to be called the induction cover. Not really sure why they call that that, but I call it the radiator cover. It goes just right above the sprocket cover. It's just right there. I believe there's only three screws. Yep, one, two, and three. This one's going to be using the same eight mil in the sprocket cover. Careful not to lose that washer. And there goes your coolant reservoir. Alrighty, there we go. The cool thing about this is that this um, little slit right here, it's actually see-through. You can kind of see the coolant in there. And, but you also have this window right here. So that's cool. On the stock one, there's a line there, but it's not a see-through line. See that? This is the keyhole cover for the Trident. It's located just right here. All you have to do is pull it up. Just like that. And it comes off like this. All right, we got the gasket on. That's what it looks like after it's done. Just give a couple of love taps, make sure it's clicking in. And I had to use two hands just to hold the gasket, this gasket around in place while I push it in. What do you guys think so far? All right, little comparison. Here is the carbon fiber headlight bowl. And that's stock. Ugh. Yay. Ugh. All right, underneath your headlight, there is a, a 17 millimeter socket and a 15 millimeter socket. All you have to do is loosen it up. I think that's already loose. Grab a pillow and put it underneath that. If you look up here, there's 
three screws, one, two, and three. So th those screws are eight mils socket. I'd have to adjust my headlight later when it gets dark but that's what it looks like guys the headlight bulb bowl is finally in let me know what you guys think in the comments down below